What's up, Brandon? Uh, this is the best cap player coming at you with another guide on the Pokemon Clover cap only format. That's right, today we are going to be going over the Jizz Dragon known as Samani. Samani is a dragon water type Pokemon of a three stage evolution line. It has a total beast, uh, based at total of 530. And it's got some pretty interesting ways of using it. That's right. So this thing is really interesting as basically almost all of its abilities are useful. Uh, not that very common, right? Usually there's just one Pokemon that usually uses one ability most of the time. But this thing has a wide variety of what it can do. And we're going to be going over uh, what it can do exactly. So first of all, we need to talk about a specific cap change. That's right. Shell armor not only uh, prevents you from getting critical hit, but it also makes you not take any recoil damage like rock head. Uh, that means anything like head smash, you know, brain damage, head charge, or in this case, wave crash does not give you any recoil while also giving you the added bonus of not being able to crit or not being able to get crit. It'd be really unfortunate if you couldn't crit, right? But in this set, we have Coil, Wave Crash. Those are the main two moves you're gonna be wanting on this set. Wave Crash to take advantage of Shell Armor, but also Coil to set yourself up. And because you cannot get crit at all, anything trying to physically attack you and trying to break through that Coil, uh, trying to crit you, is not going to ever try or isn't going to be successful in creating you due to shell armor so setting up with shell armor is really really good and that's especially uh true when samani has calm mind so you can also use this thing specially um uh, because samani does have higher special attack than uh attack uh samani's stats are very well rounded the only really bad stat is its speed at 60 everything else is pretty well well rounded it is all rounder a very all rounder right it can do a lot of things while you know being very useful on your team originally in the past it didn't really do this because its abilities were way worse but now it's really really good but now the reason why we have toxic and soft boiled soft boiled obviously just for recovery toxic is just there you know for whittling away your opponents while you're coiling rocky helmet is for anything trying to trying to uh hit you physically but even if you're if you're coiling you probably don't want rocky helmet you probably want leftovers just to get more rejuvenation you can also substitute uh toxic for earthquake as well you can substitute toxic for an ice move that it probably gets it probably gets you know ice fang probably it gets ice fang it gets ice punch just a physical ice move uh you can also because of lemirathon having uh water or a storm drain sorry you're definitely going to be wanting uh that just got a discord pin that's cool cool uh, it also has Poison Jab to get rid of those pesky fairies. You can also substitute that for a Dragon type move for just more stab, which also works. I mean, yeah. Uh, physical Samani isn't terrible due to it getting Coil and Wave Crash and stuff like that. And because of Shell Armor, that lets you allow to, uh, allows you to use Wave Crash way, way better. Our next set, uh, is really interesting as it's still a defensive stat you know you still got toxic and soft boiled but you can also substitute uh toxic for calm mind because this samani has primordial c now primordial c has a lot of uses obviously you can't be get hit by fire moves but no one's really going to be using fire mo moves on you anyway as you're a dragon water type you quad resist any fire move ever but the only reason you would be wanting to use primordial c is to get rid of other weathers this thing can absolutely destroy other weather weathers with just one switch you know primordial sea it can get rid of mecha ku clans uh desolate land very easily it can basically well maybe not solo mecha ku clan if it's you know has moon blast um but if it doesn't have moon blast you can probably solo it uh with samani especially if you're running physical 
uh, and Samani gets Calm Mind, it also gets Rapid Spin. Samani can get rid of your hazards, uh, any hazards that are on your side. It also gets Defog as well. So, as I said before, Samani can set up, it can get rid of hazards, it can get rid of weathers. It basically does a lot of things that you want on a team. I think the only thing that it can't do is set up hazards. That's literally the only thing that it cannot do. Yeah, no, it doesn't get stealth rocks or spikes or anything, but if it did that as well, that'd be crazy, honestly. But yeah, Samani uh, with Primordial Sea is one of the more common ones that you'll probably see because Primordial Sea not only gives you an attack or a water uh, boost, but gives you an immunity and also just lets you get rid of other pesky weathers. Our final set, we got Hydrophile. As you can see, there's nothing for Water Absorb because, well, Hydrophile is basically better Water Absorb. You will heal uh, for more health if you, or you will heal health if you get hit by a Water Move for both of those. Hydrophile has the added bonus of you getting 1.5 times more uh, special attack or attack if you're using a Water type move. So, for example, I have choice specs here. If I'm a Samani and I'm using choice specs, I already have an amazing special attack boost. But if I have Hydrophile on top of that, I have a total, if I'm modest, I have a total of 654 special attack while using a water move. And the thing is, because Samani gets really good special coverage, like Earth Power and Ice Beam, Almost nothing is going to switch into it unless it's a really good special defensive wall. And if it isn't, it is going to get aced by something. Alright? The only problem with Samani is that its biggest, like, real offender is a Storm Drain or Water Absorb or another Samani if you're not running a Dragon move. So yeah, Samani has some counters to it, but... When it doesn't, when your opponent doesn't specifically run those counters, Samani can not only be a devastating force, it can be a defensive utility mon, but it can do both at the same time, which is absolutely nuts. I do like Samani design wise, even though you know it's as basic as Lol Come and Dragon, it's way more than that simultaneously, which is really funny, I think. Uh, but yeah, love some money. Um, that's gonna do it for this guide. Thank you for watching. Have a good one, Brandon.